The Mirror of Creation Imagine staring into a mirror, but not just a mirror of light. A mirror of time itself. Not your reflection staring back, but the trembling glow of creation's very first heartbeat. A window not into your own eyes, but into the infancy of existence, when matter and energy were still learning how to become real. A time when the universe was young, fragile, a blank canvas painted with gas and dust, with sparks waiting to ignite the first stars. That's what the James Webb Space Telescope was built to be. A golden time machine. A mechanical oracle crafted by human hands. Each mirror polished with obsessive care. Each sensor designed to pierce the deepest darkness, to reach across 13 billion years of silent cosmic history. It was meant to reveal simplicity. A young universe filled with chaos, with warmth and infinite potential. A universe where galaxies were small, clumps of gas just beginning to swirl. Where stars flickered like newborn candles, their light fragile and dim. A sea of dust, gas, and glowing hydrogen, the raw ingredients of everything that would one day become stars, planets, and perhaps life itself. But when Webb turned its mirrors toward the darkness, when it peered deeper than any telescope before it, what it saw was not infancy. It was not the cosmic cradle scientists had prepared to find. It was something ancient. Something fully formed. Something that should not have existed. Instead of faint blurs and formless clouds, Webb captured galaxies, spirals of starlight swirling like fingerprints across eternity. These were not cosmic toddlers taking their first steps. They were galaxies in full bloom. Graceful. Organized. Impossibly old. It was as though the universe had skipped childhood entirely, leaping straight into adulthood in a fraction of the time physics allowed. Decades of theory began to unravel. Every textbook. Every simulation. Every trusted equation suddenly felt fragile, as though the ground beneath cosmology itself had begun to shift. The deeper Webb looked, the stranger the story became. Because these galaxies didn't just exist. They were thriving. Their stars burned bright, their arms elegantly twisted, their structures astonishingly complete. Their ancient light carried the fingerprints of elements that shouldn't have appeared for billions of years. Oxygen. Carbon. Iron. These are not simple atoms. They are the ashes of stars, born, lived, and died on a cosmic scale. Forged in nuclear furnaces. Cast into space by supernovae. Shaped into the building blocks of worlds, oceans, and life. And yet, here they were, glimmering in galaxies that should not have had enough time to create them. It was as though the universe had already lived through entire generations of stars within only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The timelines didn't just feel compressed. They felt shattered. Time itself seemed to bend, as though the cosmos had hurried through its infancy, skipping stages we thought were essential. And still, Webb's mirrors kept reflecting more. Each image a window into impossible history. Each photon a story of creation rewritten. The universe, it seemed, had a story far more ambitious than anyone imagined. Not chaotic. Not slow. Fast. Organized. Rich with life's essential ingredients long before life itself could emerge. The mirror of creation. It didn't just show the past. It showed a universe already grown, already alive, already reaching the awakening universe and then came the discovery that silenced the room. A monstrous black hole, resting calmly at the heart of one of these ancient galaxies. Its gravity bent space like a scar across the dark. A billion times more massive than our sun, yet existing when the universe was still in its infancy. That shouldn't have been possible. Even the most accelerated models of growth couldn't explain it. 
Every rule of astrophysics trembled under the weight of Webb's vision. Every explanation felt like science fiction. And so scientists began to whisper, new theories. New possibilities. Maybe these black holes weren't born from dying stars at all. Maybe they formed directly from collapsing clouds of matter in the earliest universe. Maybe dark matter, the invisible framework thought to shape existence, played a far more aggressive, unpredictable role than anyone imagined. Maybe time itself flowed differently back then. Warped, stretched, and curved in ways our physics cannot yet describe. Because what Webb was showing us wasn't just data. It was a new reality. A universe that grew up too fast. A cosmos that broke its own rules. A creation that refused to wait for permission. Astronomers found themselves staring not just into the past, but into a mystery so vast it made the beginning itself feel uncertain. What do you do when the universe stops following its own rules? When everything you thought you knew about creation suddenly feels incomplete? For scientists, that realization arrived quietly. Not in thunder or chaos. But in silence. As data from Webb whispered a truth no one expected, Webb wasn't built to break physics. It was meant to confirm it. To fill in the blanks of our cosmic story. Instead, it rewrote the story entirely. The universe it revealed was fast. Structured. Impossibly old. Galaxies that should have been primitive were mature. Stars that shouldn't exist yet burned heavy with metals. It was like reading the final chapter of a book before discovering the first page. Some scientists whispered that dark matter might be alive with purpose, weaving galaxies faster than light could measure. Others wondered if time once flowed differently, stretched, folded, or looped, allowing entire cosmic epochs to pass in moments. And a few dared to ask the most unsettling question, what if the universe was never chaotic to begin with? As Webb gazed deeper, patterns began to emerge. Golden spirals. Elegant ratios. Geometry repeating across galaxies. It wasn't chaos. It was choreography. The universe seemed to move to a rhythm older than time itself. Then Webb saw the impossible. Organic molecules drifting through intergalactic space. The seeds of amino acids floating for billions of years. If that's true, then life isn't rare. It's fundamental. A pattern written into the fabric of existence. And then came the image that changed everything. Six galaxies arranged like petals around a glowing core. Perfect symmetry. Astronomers called it the flower. No gravitational lensing could explain it. Because the deeper Webb looked, the more the universe seemed to respond. Tiny fluctuations appeared in repeated observations, subtle, yet undeniable, as if awareness itself had left fingerprints in the data. What if the act of watching changes the watched? What if we're not just observers, but participants in the unfolding of reality itself? Maybe consciousness isn't a side effect of creation. Maybe it's one of its ingredients. Because what Webb revealed wasn't just light. It was reflection. Awareness meeting awareness. We didn't just build a telescope to see the beginning. We built a mirror. And something on the other side was looking back. So now, when we stare into that ancient light, we must ask, did we discover the universe, or did it finally reveal itself to us? Maybe it's been waiting all along for someone to look back and truly see it. Because we didn't just witness the cosmos. We awakened it.